Okay, so this is the Flames of War project that I've been working on. Um, as you can see, the Overlord and Atlantic Wall books are the main two that I've been sort of referring to, um, bits and pieces like that. Um, mainly things like colour schemes and organisations and, and bits and pieces. Um, so this is really what I've been on with as a, the majority of the, the stuff. Uh, it's not all on here for obvious reasons due to space and, and bits and pieces like that. Um, so starting off these guys at the back here, these are um, American Airborne paratroops. Now these are actually the ones from the open fire box set. Um, they're pretty much ready to go really. Um, just a couple of touches up here and there and then sort of just detailing on the base and bits and pieces. But they're pretty much ready to go. Um, the only other ones I've really been sort of doing in a bit of detail are these fellas over here. Um, these have been done up as um, American infantry. Now these guys actually come from a company called Forged in Battle. Um, really, really good company to have a look at um, because they do some sort of infantry deals every so often where you can buy um, infantry platoons or bits and pieces. And they also do additional deals and stuff where you can get other bits thrown in with it as well. Um, I mean, this, to give you an idea, this, all of these guys here, every single base here, um, comes with in one of their blister packs. And you can actually get enough men in there to get two of the three man command bases. So you can get Flames of War style, you can get nine infantry bases. These are all rifle armed. There's a couple of BARs in there, but for obviously game purposes, they'll all be um, rifle bases. And there's the, um, the obviously the commanders at the at the front. Um, takes a little bit of time on this one because I've got a guy done as a medic. Okay, a um, little bit of a technical issue there. Um, battery on the camera was dying, so I had to probably pop it on charge for a bit. Um, also, there was a big German secret weapon that came in to attack the Americans, which was um, one of the cats. Um, so I got rid of the cat and popped the camera on charge for a little bit, so finish up this video. Um, <clears throat> so basically, yeah, with these guys from Fort in Battle, this is basically one blister pack. Um, so you get Flames of War scale, you get all nine bases plus the command squad and you also have three extra guys left over so you can actually get a second command squad if you need to for whatever reason so if you have an army list where you only need say I don't know six bases you can also have the second command squad so it's quite a nice little um, little army deal <coughs> excuse me, a little army deal or an army pack there, so that's quite good. Um, now when I actually got these guys, I actually got in with these guys as well. Now, this one is, I'll just turn him around a little bit there as you can see, is a mortar, it's an 81mm mortar, and that comes in its own blister pack. But you get four of those, so you get the, the mortar, the loader, and then two guys I think that guy's meant to be like uh, the second loader or someone carrying some of the ammunition and that guy is just, or, I don't know, the commander or something like that, pointing and shouting. So, got four of those and in another blister pack, I've got these guys. That's a heavy machine gun and again, it's the loader or the ammo feeder, the gunner himself. And again, another bloke who's probably some sort of commander or something, and the MG itself, um, which is set to be a heavy machine gun. Again, you get four of those. So, <coughs> I actually got enough stuff. So I've got command, at least a platoon of infantry, and if you use the Overlord book, you can use these guys from the infantry company um, and that is basically how they are set up so all I need to do is buy another blister pack, get those painted up and I've got a legal army and then I've got some heavy support weapons as well so 
just need to get all of these guys sorted out <clears throat> and we're off and running now these here this is just a little um, thing I'm testing out at the moment um, basically they are at the moment what they look like they are cocktail sticks glued onto a coin with some sand <clears throat> now I have some clump foliage on order so the idea is they're going to try to be trees and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use a similar sort of technique to um, what the um, I think it's Gale Force 9 who do the actual things where you have like the template and then you have a couple of removable trees that you can move around on there so you can obviously <clears throat> move them away from um, all the infantry and stuff and then obviously once the infantry pass through the forest you can put the trees back on to make it look like a forest again so <clears throat> just giving it a try, see what they like if they're rubbish then obviously at least I know but you know for what it's worth you know give it a try and see how it goes out the other thing that I'm starting to do is some more German bits and pieces so we've got some pack 40s uh, now I've actually done two pack 40s um, in regards to um, getting the open fire box set sorted out the thing is though they're not <clears throat> excuse me they're not actually the plastic ones that you get with the kit um, they're actually two of um, the pack that I got uh, a while ago just for some German anti-tank guns these are the other two so <clears throat> so once I get everything sorted out I should have about six anti-tank guns for the Germans sorted so that's going to be pretty nasty and I also found this staff car or staff car however you want to pronounce it um, I say staff but um, basically this is possibly the one from the Nerval Warfare set. I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember. Um, but I think, depending on what army list you get with the pack 40s, some of them do have a staff car with them. So I'll have to double check that. But I'm going to do this guy up anyway, just so I've got a staff car ready to run around. But at the moment, that is basically what I've been up with, up to with my Flames of War sort of stuff. So fingers crossed we can get some more stuff sorted out. Cheers.